Closer to home, a Toronto bar calls a sign posted by one of its employees disgusting, derogatory and insensitive. Our Janice Golding is live outside locals only on King Street. Janice, is this person still working there? Apparently not, Michelle. Now, Locals Only is a basement bar here in the King and Bathurst area, and it has no sign, so it's easy to walk by without noticing it. However, something happened at the bar this weekend, as you mentioned, that has captured a lot of people's attention, and none of the reaction has been positive. Take a look. He said, no means yes, spotted on King Street last night. Straight up promoting rape oh so casually. Katie Capern shows us a message she posted online yesterday, a photo of a sign she took at King Street Bar Locals Only Saturday night. A sign that read, no means yes. It was preposterous to think that it, the whole thing could mean what we thought it meant. But Capern says a bartender soon confirmed their suspicions. Absolutely sick and I actually felt physically sick to my stomach. So the 24-year-old posted the I, image I on social media and the online reaction was swift. I know, I was livid. Absolutely, I was livid. Like, you can't make a rape advocacy joke. Ada DeCastris went on to share the post on an industry website. I put it on the food and wine industry career navigator. Uh, that's, you know, all, everybody in the industry uses it. It's like 20,000 people, so everybody saw it. And what followed, yeah, a huge backlash. Can you just tell us, though, how you feel about the sign? Can you just tell us how you feel about the sign? What about all the reaction? You have nothing to say. We try to get a response from locals only, but no luck. Online, however, the bar posted an apology saying, we are taking the appropriate measures to immediately terminate the staff member's employment and effective immediately, we will reissue a staff training course to further educate our staff members of appropriate practice. On Instagram, the bar went on to post photos saying no means no. Still, the damage to its reputation has been done. It was certainly an establishment I'd never go into. I think it's very inappropriate. And as a woman, it doesn't feel very great, especially in a bar where that kind of thing does happen. As for Capern... It doesn't matter how subtle it is. You know, you can be trying to be sassy or edgy, but it's never going to be funny. It's funny that they thought they could get away with it. She says the bar needs to do far more than apologize. Locals only says the staff member was unsupervised when he or she created the sign, adding they are shocked and appalled that a trusted member of their staff would do such a thing. Reporting live, I'm Janice Golding. Now back to Michelle.